Hello everyone, uh, today I want to share with you my plumeria plant. As you see, I have blooming plumeria and most of its buds are dying because of the spider mites. Now I started having problem with spider mites. Uh, I am fighting with these mites for two weeks, but nothing is helping. I tried this insecticide, this one, and one other one, but nothing is helping. I sprayed, you know, how many times I sprayed to, with this uh, insecticide, this plumeria plant, but I don't know, somehow they are not helping. Uh, they cannot kill. I don't see them um, that day when I spray and when I check, you know, uh, after ne next day I check and I see again spider mites. And when we have spider mites on the uh, flower buds, they eat, they suck the juice under the buds and these buds, they cannot grow and bloom. Even the blooming plumeria, these blooming flowers, they fall, you know, they drop uh, and they don't stay long. Usually they stay, uh, the, if the plant is healthy, there is no insect or some disease, these flowers stay more than a week. And now you see the spider mites are everywhere and uh, they are killing my plant. Most of its leaves fall, you see on the floor, you see it's making mess everywhere and I clean here and see even the healthy leaves are falling and this way this plumeria became naked without any leaves see here even the small growing uh, new leaves are dying also see they are sucking all the juice from these leaves and they are killing this plant and what i did last week mm, when i uh, couldn't kill these insects uh, with the these insecticides uh, i put this in the soil i thought maybe they are in the soil and i have to put something in the soil to kill them and i sprayed on top with this one this one i put in the soil i mixed with water and i feed this uh, plant this one feeds and it kills insects this one is for top part and i treated with both of them but they are not helping and i have you know i have two plum plumeria plants in two pots and one pot is in one pot i have smaller plumeria uh, and this is big plumeria and that one i was able to wash with dish soap last week and i killed all the uh, mites spider mites i don't have in that one i don't have any more mites and what my mom does usually when she has this kind of problem with her trees she has lots of fruit fruit trees she has big garden and uh, you know when you grow trees and have all kind of uh, flowers you cannot be without insects without diseases and she does uh, what she does she takes uh, ash from her oven clay she has clay oven to bake bread and she takes wood ash and she spray water on the on her trees and she spray with that uh, you know on the on the wet leaves she puts ashes she spray ash and this uh, the ash they will sit on the wet leaves and they the ash kills all the insects and then after two days she can wash or uh, if it's uh, raining outside the rain can wash the leaves and that way she doesn't have any insects in her trees she has lots of fruit trees and she has grapes she has everything all kind of fruit trees uh, now i cannot apply wood ash on the on this tree you know plumeria flower because it's in the house and it's winter it's cold outside if i want to take this uh, plant uh, i can apply wood ash but i cannot leave this uh, plant with wood ash this is a simple decision for this uh, 
uh, insects to treat these insects uh, to get rid of these insects but I cannot apply wood ash now first I don't have wood ash and the second it's cold outside and what I did last week I took my small plant plumeri plant and I washed in the sink I washed its leaves with uh, uh, with dish soap and that way I got rid of these spider mites now today today it's a little bit warmer outside 55 degrees Fahrenheit and I want to take this my plumeria plant uh, with my husband outside and I will wash and I want to show you how, how I wash um, my plant I will show you I will take this plant outside and I will wash how I will show you how I wash this plant and that way I will help this plant somehow uh, if you don't have wood ash you can wash with dish soap they do the same job um, and I, I want to use this dish soap uh, if you have wood ash and you you are able to take your plant outside or it's outside it's better to use wood ash it's the best uh, insecticide even you can put on top of the soil some wood ash and it kills all the insects which is in the soil uh, it kills all the uh, you know crawling you know um, not crawling <laughs> yeah crawling insects and everything it kills everything that way um, you will help your plant and I will take this plant outside I will show you first I will show you how to um, put wood ash on your plant if you have all kind of insects the wood ash will help you here I have some wood ash which I uh, have from my smoker this much only I have and with this much wood ash I will show you but you have to have more a lot to treat your tree and let me show you how my mom treats her trees with wood ashes my mom she uh, she used shower and she spray water on the tree like this she makes equally wet all the leaves like this she washed the tree with a hose and like this but i have to cover first the soil because i am gonna take this Cut again into the house and I don't want to make the soil soggy uh, see I covered um, the soil the top of the pot with a uh, trash bag and uh, I sprayed water on the leaves and it's wet and how my mom does she takes wood ash and she has lots of you know bucket of wood ash because she has clay oven and she put from the on, on top of the tree like this in this way this way you know or with the uh, with some garden tools she sprays the wood ash and now I will show you how to do it for example here I have you know leaf and I put wood ash like this see and this uh, wood ash it has to stay on the tree for some days until it rains or you can if you don't like you can wash this tree yourself with a hose but now i cannot apply this first it's cold outside and i cannot leave this tree outside until this wood ash kills this insects that's why i have to do my job fast that's why i'm using dish soap i will show you how i'm gonna use this dish soap now I will wash this uh, wood ash because I want to show you how I wash with dish soap. See how the leaves are falling because they are weak. The spider mites, they suck all the energy from these leaves and they are, they are falling, even they are green. They are very weak now. If I don't help this plant, this plant if it doesn't have leaves it can die that's why 
I have brush, see, it's for painting. How I washed my other plumeri plant, I will show you. And I put dish soap on the brush like this. And I wash the leaves with a brush like this. And this, only this thing, it helped my other plumeria to get rid of these insects. I wash between the leaves, see how it's good. This brush doesn't damage the plant. It's soft. And uh, see these buds are already dead. They are brown. If they are live, they uh, they are green. They have to be green and see how here flower fall. And I have to wash these buds also carefully. I am not pressing but I am washing them. See how I am, how I am washing? I am putting my finger behind the buds and I wash here. Every day it's cold outside. We didn't have any uh, hot warm days. Uh, today is 8th of March. See, I wash like this and this uh, dish soap, it will kill the spider mites. And now I don't have, uh, with in other plumeri plant, I don't have spider mite. I wash even the stem of the plant like this, how we paint in that way. I'm washing everywhere. See, it's falling. These uh, new leaves are falling. See, they are weak and they sucked all the juice from this. Uh, let me put some dish soap. I'm putting this soap like this. Even, you know, I put my orchids in that room on the table when I bought them. Uh, when I bought my new orchids, I put them on the table in that room where my plumeria plant sits. And I was scared that these spider mites could go the, to my orchids too. And I washed all my orchids with dish soap also. Dish soap doesn't harm the plants. If you wash and rinse, it's okay. You know? uh, sometimes we have white flies on uh, our hibiscus flower and I put, I spray with a dish soap or I take to the uh, bathroom and I give shower and I wash the plant with a dish soap also and this dish soap helps a lot or I can put in a cup of water dish soap and make comfortable to use and I mix it and I can wash like this whatever is comfortable for me or oh, sorry I broke that new lip. let me put it here on the table and I wash but I see the putting on the brush is more better the dish soap is look at this how I am washing that way I have to wash all this plant, the stem, in between leaves, everywhere. It's getting cold again. It was 55, now I saw that it's 50 degrees outside. These are 
not warm yet that's why I have to wash with the dish soap and immediately I will take this plant into the house the back of the leaf and the top I wash carefully I don't leave any place without washing see how I'm washing because the, the, the insecticides are not working I don't know what to do and I have to help somehow I cannot do what my mom does because I will make mess if I um, put wood ash in the house I will make mess everywhere and you know the in the house it doesn't rain and these leaves will not look nice with the wood ashes and that's why I'm washing with dish soap this is the best treatment from the insects if we have insects on our plant and this branch is left let me turn this way and See, it's comfortable to wash this plant with a brush. Oh, again, the see how they are weak, they are falling. Usually, it's hard to break the pomeria leaf, but now it's very weak, it doesn't have energy. Spider mites took all the energy. All the stem and everywhere. I'm washing, you see that? The first sign, if you have uh, spider mites, the first sign to recognize them, you will see the leaf, green leaf, and the middle of the leaf, it becomes lighter like this. You see, the color is different. Here in the center, the leaf will start looking light green. And you will see, if you turn the leaf this way, and you look from the side you will see small dust it look like dust it's the first sign of spider mites then when it comes it, it becomes more you can see everywhere in the flowers everywhere even you know you sh how i showed you at the beginning of this video that's the first sign and then when become more they become more you will s you can see easily that might now I will uh, rinse this plant and take it in the house and the rest of the water I am putting on top of this buds if there is something between the buds it will wash this water with the dish soap it will wash everything and now I'm gonna rinse now see I am giving shower and after rinsing I will take this plant in the house if you put uh, your plumeria plant to sleep during the winter time you will not have this problem because plumeria doesn't have uh, leaves if you put the, it to sleep in a dark room in the basement or somewhere else where is 
uh, darker and cooler you will not have this problem I had because uh, I wanted to see its blooms usually in our state this plumeria plant starts blooming late uh, when the days get uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit they start blooming and when I take them in the house if I put them to sleep I will never see their blooms last year I didn't see that that way that's why I put this plant in my living room I wanted to see its blooms that's why I have this problem if you put this plant to sleep you will not have, the, have this problem last year I didn't have any problem with mites and insects this year I have because this plant is not sleeping and see it's blooming this is the second bloom of this plumeria here I had first bloom and I showed you in my video you can go and watch that video maybe I will put in the description below that video you can find and these blooms are second blooms but uh, unfortunately the flowers are falling very fast they don't stay long in two days they are falling I love this plant it's uh, very it has very uh, sweet fragrance and it smells so good and now I, I don't see the flowers uh, for a long time I cannot have because of the spider mites and hope I will help this plant somehow and it can continue blooming these buds here I have lots of buds still and they will grow and bloom for me again and now it's clean and I can take this plant in the house thanks for watching if you have any questions you can ask please subscribe if you are not subscribed in my channel yet we will discuss more problems more success with plants and happy gardening see you next time bye